face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? Then, of welcome to another how to use video with your true love course, the Scavenger. And today's video, we're gonna focus on one of my favorite Pokemon coming out of the generation 7, Glissopod. So a Glissopod has an advantage and disadvantage really is his ability of course. Ability of course the emergency exits. Emergency exits forces you out after 50% of HP is lost. Only works once per battle mind you, but it still is actually a disadvantage since you can't set up with this Pokemon and that's very bad considering that of course it has a very very good offensive typing and of course a rather effective one at that and of course its unique typing is of course bug and water only being used by supreme pokemon that is Surskit and of course in this regeneration Arcanid. These are a very very scarce typing combination and Glissopod stands out slightly taller than Arcanid mostly because of its offenses. So the bug water typing is definitely a good defensive typing since it resists fighting ground, ice, steel and water which is like I said quite scarce and only really this is the typing you want if you want to of course Nulliate Mamoswine and of course Kelio since it resisted stab and since it's so naturally bulky it can definitely force them out too which is just well let's just say it as it is it's kind of cool it is weak to of course electric flying and rock kind of forcing that you need a ground rock type, or at least a ground type, and something to be able to take on, of course, the flying stabs. Mind you, a Pokemon such as Rhyper would be a great defensive type for this guy to, of course, deviate and lean to if it's forced to switch out. Because while this guy is bulky with, of course, 140 in defense and 19 special defense, and of course 75 in HP, that's that that's pretty darn scary. This guy still needs, of course, lean on Pokemon because while first impression, which is a new move against this generation, which is a fake out move. Uh, only work first turn as a plus two priority out prioritizing of course the likes of Sucker Punch. It still is only a move that can be used once. So it has a few things going against it, but also a lot of good things, of course, natural stats make it a threat to be reckoned with turn one, because this is very unlikely that you will take out this Pokemon in of course its first turn or two. Having that said, we're of course gonna go over its TM list and of course the egg move and natural move that it gets. Because it's actually quite scarce, and I should say sadly, the only notable moves that it learns is of course first impression, and then it learns the likes of Bug Bite, Spite if you want to use that Sword Stance, which is just a double-edged blade since of course of its ability, and then we have Sucker Punch, and Liquidation, which is a new offensive move that is slightly stronger and of course Waterfall, and can force a defense drop, which could be annoying for most Pokemon. And then, of course, the egg moves is the normal moves. There, of course, Aqua Jet and, of course, Spikes. So, you, this could be a possible Spice lead with, of course, the first impression and whatnot to threaten things out. And this thing can definitely set up Spikes. It's a slow spiker, but having Spikes and Emerge X is, is not necessarily a bad thing. And now we're gonna go over the TM list. And the TM list is definitely not as impressive, and it definitely feels like uh, Golis's body is missing out a little bit here. He has a lot of toxic, you know, bulk up definitely is out there. And then we have Leech Life, which have getting a really boost this generation, with of course being 80 basis time, making it able to recover HP, which is actually kind of nice. Then we have Brick Break, who definitely are usable this move. I, just, I see here that Leech Life actually hasn't been fixed to 80 base power on this list, sorry about that. And then we have the likes of Shadow Claw Payback, which definitely could be utilized well with this Pokemon. And of course, x Scissor, Poison Jab, and Rock Slide. As you guys see, this is a complete list. And there are moves here that are missing. It definitely misses out on Earthquake, which definitely would have helped it out against the, of course, electric typing. But, you know, you can't get everything, clearly. And missing out on Bulldoze really sucks too. But it has the things that matters. But there are, of course, things here that forces it out, which is worth keeping in mind with this kind of Pokemon. Because while it does wall up Pleasure of Pokemon, it also strain a little bit with them, which means that the first impression, the priority move, is where you're going to utilize yourself more often than not. Now we're going to go over to, of course, the sets. And I really only have two sets that I really think are making this thing valuable. And then it's all going to go up to whether or not which kind of Pokemon is going to face in its relevant tier. The first set, Adamant Assault Vest. Pretty darn straightforward here. Max HP, max attack, and a little speed in case something creeps at 40 base. First impression, Awkward Yet, Sucker Punch, and Leech Life is really all you need. But trust me, you could utilize Sucker Punch 
give that up for something else. First impression is your main way of attack. It's to soak hit with Assault Vest because you're naturally that bulky to be able to take hits and of course come back with first impression. You could be forced out, you can even go so far and say that once you know your first impression is gonna kick in, why not, and I really mean this, switch in on a Draco, soak it, be forced to switch out, come back in. You know, this this is what this Pokemon really do, it is get the damage done, being forced out, has the ability to come back again for another first impression or switch to something that matters. First impression is definitely one of the best moves this guy have and being able to always force out the opponent or even you know go for another move due to it makes this Pokemon quite well. You could also optimize Aqua Jet for Liquidation basically to get the speed drop going but Leech Life is your main way of recovery with this set and trust me you'll get it due to of course this massive attack set it will be able to do massive hits and if you want to optimize yourself go for defense of HP if you want to have a longer ride of course being able to be forced out with this set. The next one is more defensive but at the same time is utilized for spiker and being able to force out. We're going we're still gonna go with adamant and the main set here is of course first impression, liquidation, spikes and leech life which means you have Pokemon here that can definitely force you out. Such of course Keldeo and Polyrath definitely doesn't care about this Pokemon whatsoever but what this guy can do that simply the others cannot is that this guy can keep on attacking and go for spikes instead because this guy is so hard to kill and with emergency exit that means that once you set up a layer of spikes or two you level your force out after. Having that said, first impression still in this set is your first and viable move to go for therefore it has to be on this list. And um, you could utilize yourself with Citrus Berry instead, making that once you're being forced out, Citrus Berry kicks in, have you in a good health. You can even use this set to set up afterwards if you so desire, but trust me, you just want the damage to be out there. And the attack here is basically to one shot uh, Alakazam and two shot possible Cresselia, if it is defensive, that is. Though, keep that in mind, you really can't outspeed it. Therefore, we have, of course, some special defense here to be able to take on special hits and then go for Leech Slap, keep on attacking. It should be noted here that Golisa Party is able to do other things too, but Offensive Spiker and Assault Vest Offensive Variant is the ones that stands out for me of being the most viable at least right now. And I definitely will, of course, revamp this uh, set once the meta is established, because right now Golisa Party has only one function, and that is what it does really well, and that it pokes hole at the team and be able to of course out prioritize Pokemon and do for heavy damage. Even though it's a massive slow Pokemon, it has access to a lot of priority and it does hurt to deal with. So Golisipod is still one of the more relevant Pokemon for me and um, I trust you guys to of course utilize this Pokemon well. I will say that Spike Set is actually kind of interesting mostly because you often are able to set up Spike when you know your opponent is forced to switch out, such of course having an Analika Sam on the field or a Fragile Pokemon like uh, for most of, for example, which definitely out prioritized and dies to a first impression, being able to set up spice against that, that's kind of cocky. And um, just overall, that damage output that Golisa Party is, of course, bringing is kind of nice having a hyper offensive team and be able to set up spice naturally is awesome. And like I said, I tried to use Emergency Exit as a way for you to soak a hit and be forced out. Or if you know your opponent is going to go for a Volt Switch, why not throw that in? Get of course the merge exit going and then be able to see what they switch into as you go after. It's awesome, I love it. I think it's while they, while it does hold the Golisa part back, but of course not being able to set up, it definitely also help you get a free switch in at least once and scout your opponent really nicely because of Golisa Pod's natural bulk, it won't be taking too heavy damage from it. So I really hope this video of course helped you out on how to utilize Golisa Pod well and things worth keeping in mind. And with that said, what do you think about the Golisa Pod? What sets have you been using and how successful have they been? Of course, we cannot synergize if you come with Golisa Pod, but trust me, he doesn't necessarily need all the many teammates, but he definitely needs synergy to be able to, of course, lean on Pokemon that can so kits. And uh, one really, really need to consider that when I'm building a team for, of course, Golisa Pod. So, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.